Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Today I am back with my second and final review for a backup battery from Richard Solo. My original review was on the 1200 series which you can find over here in the more info section. But this today we're going to be reviewing the 1800 series. It is their newest backup battery. It is a little bit pricier but that's only because you get more accessories included in this actual box package itself. And the 1800 series offers a higher battery life for your iPod and iPhone. So when you actually open up the box package itself, you get two smaller boxes contained, and then you also get your documentation showing you how to actually work the backup battery, and pretty much all the instructions about where you can uh, actually plug in the cables, what the LED lights mean, and all that stuff. So when you actually use the smaller of the two packages, the thinner one, this will actually contain your backup battery itself. It's hard plastic as you see right here. Uh, in comparison to my iPod Touch it's about one half, maybe one fourth the weight of my iPod Touch. It's not too heavy. Uh, it's a pretty light model. It's pretty thin also in comparison to size. It's probably a little bit thicker than my iPod Touch because this has a casing on. Um, in height not too much smaller, just a little bit smaller actually. So it's about the same size as my iPod Touch, a little bit smaller in every aspect, but it's not too far away from being the same size. So anyway, when you're actually up here, this is the Richard Solo 1800, and up at the top, this is where you're actually going to be plugging it into your cable so you can actually charge the iPod or iPhone. These two side buttons right here, these are tabs, if you can see them right there, you'll be squeezing those together just as you would your 30 pin connector when you're disconnecting it from your iPod or iPhone, and when you're disconnecting this battery backup, you need to squeeze squeeze these two together and then you pull it out the bottom. Down towards the bottom we'll flip this upside down and we have two different buttons and three LED lights. This first one over here on the right is going to be a flashlight. It's a pretty powerful flashlight and then the one over here on the very left, I'll show you this, this one over here on the left this is a laser beam. It's a red laser beam. No, you can't change colors with it, but it is a surprisingly strong red laser beam. Uh, it's a fun little attachment. It's really nothing that you're going to be needing to actually have to use your battery backup, but uh, it's definitely a cool little attachment. It's a nice little added incentive to actually want to go out and buy this. And then your three LED lights right here in the middle, they actually have uh, indicators and tell you how your battery backup is being used. This top one right here, the very top one, it will shine blue when it's uh, lit, and that will mean that that it is charging the iPod or iPhone when it is plugged into your wall. This middle one right here will shine green and that is indicating that it is charging the backup battery. The cool thing about the 1800 series from Richard Solo is that when you have your backup battery and iPod or iPhone plugged into your wall charger, it will originally charge the iPod and iPhone first so you won't have to always be carrying this around and then after your iPod and iPhone have been fully charged, it will start charging the 1800 from Richard Solo. And then this lower last final LED light will show you while the X, or while the battery is actually being used on the iPod or iPhone. So if you're not plugged into your wall and you're actually using this backup battery to use your charge for, then it'll shine red and it'll tell you that you're actually using the backup battery itself as your juice. So now that we've actually run through the battery itself, let's go through and I'll show you all the accessories that are inside of this box. This is going to be the second thicker box that was included inside the big Richard Solo 1800 box package. So you got a lot of accessories that come out of here. You got Four? Yeah, you got four accessories that come out of here. Uh, this first one is going to be your wall charger. So this is a wall charger. It does have a single USB slot at the bottom. And then this next one is going to be your 30 pin connector which will actually connect to the backup battery itself. So we'll put that one aside. And this next one is a pretty nice little feature. This is a car charger, so you can actually charge the backup battery and your iPod or iPhone while you're driving in the car. It's a nice little added incentive that they threw into this box package. They didn't need to, but they were nice enough to do so. And then a cool thing about it, at the very bottom, it is a dual USB. So it's not just single USB, so you can actually charge a second object if you want to. So you can do a completely second device aside from this uh, backup battery. So that's a nice, that's, a, that's actually a really nice incentive that they threw into this box. And then third, we have our retract USB cable and it's very simple just like that and except I'm gonna break it in like one second huzzah okay there we go did I there we go back to normal I'm sorry alrighty so we got all of our five little things that go pretty nicely together actually they all do match all nice black they're all plastic as you see here so nothing really too different about them no metallics no hard plastic or whatever I'm saying they're all hard plastic so how you actually do begin to charge your iPod or iPhone, it's uh, not really complicated, but it does have a lot of different steps to actually do it. So move this car charger aside, we don't need that right now. We're going to first start with our wall charger. When you get your wall charger, 
Take the USB end of the retractable cable and plug it into the bottom. Now, for this retractable end, you can plug it right into the bottom of the backup battery or you could even plug it into the cable itself if you want to just not charge the backup battery at all. But say if we want to charge everything at once, you go to that. So, back up a little bit. So now we actually have our first of a, a few different steps actually uh, put in. We have our wall charger, our retractable USB cable, and then the Richard Solo 1800 backup battery. So next, what we can do if we want to actually go to our iPod now, we can go to here and plug in the end of the 30 pin connector cable. And now take the actual 30 pin connector end and plug that into the bottom of your iPod or iPhone. And as you see, immediately it starts shining blue, and the blue light will indicate that it is charging the iPod and iPhone as you see it immediately started charging my iPhone, or my iPod, I'm sorry. So it shows the battery, it shows that it's taking juice from this and transferring it to this. So in fact, we don't even need these because this isn't plugged in the wall. But as you see, it's got the nice little blue uh, LED light shining right there showing that I'm actually right now charging my iPod. And that's a cool little added incentive. The cool thing about the 1800 series is it adds about one and a third life to your iPod. So once you go through this, you can completely have your iPod or iPhone dead. This 1800 will back up your iPod or iPhone more than 100%. That is the nicest thing about it. Um, the iPod and iPhone have an 1100 battery inside of it already. So this 1800 battery is obviously, it's, it's already bigger than it. It's 700 bigger than the uh, battery put into here already. So you're getting about two and a half charges into this. Maybe about two and a third, two and a half charges into your iPod or iPhone without having to ever plug it in. Once this is fully charged and once your iPod or iPhone is fully charged, you can get about two and a half charges out of just a single battery. So guys, we will get everything back to where it needs to be in nice little order. Plug everything, or unplug everything actually. Put everything in the picture so I can do my little sales pitch. And all I'm going to tell you guys is if you are looking for any backup battery, this is the one to go with. The 1200 is definitely a nice model from Richard Solo, but this is the newest model. This is the newest one available on the market. And as you see here, you get a lot of goodies to come with the bonus package. Um, within this little package, you get all these different accessories. You get the wall charger, the car charger, the backup battery itself. You don't get an iPod. Uh, you get the actual 30 pin connector. You get the retractable USB cable. So you get all all these little accessories, it's definitely a nice bundle that's added in here. Um, and I would definitely recommend going to check it out, especially because I can get you 15% off of this box package. So until July 7th, go over here to the link in the more info section to the right if you want to pick up your own 1800 series and type in the coupon code TI. K. That is a promo code that will get you 15% off of the Richard Solo 1800 series. Uh, it also works on the 1200, but that's a cool little incentive. You get 15% off until July 7th if you type in T-I-K. And then my second little added thing that I want to tell you guys is on the back of all these boxes, it says that there's a 90-day warranty. That's not true. There is actually now a full one-year warranty to all of Richard Solo products. So if you're going to actually go out and buy one, don't worry about the smaller warranty. They have now upped the ante to now be a full year for a warranty. So that's a definitely nice plus for the uh, Richard Solo company. Congrats to them for that one. I recommend going to check this one out. It will add you about two and a half times the battery left to your iPod or iPhone. It's definitely my favorite backup battery that I've seen on the market so far. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I will talk to you later. Have a fantastic day.